VR can be very weird. VR has a lot of different stuff. From big screen having debates on Trump versus Biden, which I took a lot of part in, and I used a lot of hours of that game when I should have studied in the school. And VR also having very well made shooter games. You want to go fast paced? Contractors. Very VR. Pavlov? Perhaps a little slower. And perhaps you want to give war flashbacks to that foreign family member that fought in Vietnam. Then try onward. Not the movie, the game. I mean, look at this. It has snipes. It's, it's cool. But some of the shit I've seen on VR. Crap. Even Batman can give this fucking information out of me. <laughs> the amount of people I have seen slightly LGBTQ plus 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 playing VR chat 10 hours a day is terrifying. So I'm just gonna talk about a few things I picked up over the years as a VR enjoyer. I remember the months leading up to the election in America. I know I this know may that sound bad, I know. Bad. But there were usually one or two lobbies with around 40 to 60 people in each lobby, having debates talking about who they were gonna vote for, who they think they should win, and just having good debates while live streaming Vox news or something like that. Nice argument. And I'm sorry, I was a Biden. -y. I didn't know he was gonna be able to barely pull the sentence together and he left the entire border open. I am sorry, but big screen is a very cool concept, because one guy can share his screen and others can watch and talk about it. So perfect for movie nights, debates, and other stuff like that, even gaming nights. But perhaps you can catch me in a heated debate, big screen, this up and coming collection. Collection? Election. Pavlo VR. Pavlo means a lot to me. This was practically one of the first VR games I played, and I played it up. Even started playing it competitively, and I pretty much started this channel just for Pavlo content. But what tutorial reaching nearly 40k views? I mean. That's insane. There's also a guy called Jesso, really cool dude. I only want him. By the way, the reason why I did was so bad was because, uh... Ping? We played PC version and not Pavlov's Shack. And I'm used to playing Shack. I don't have anything more. And I made a lot of friends just off Pavlov and the league called PCL. That today has been branched out to PCL for Preacher's Champions League. I've seen mentally ill people like... This guy, that makes very funny messages. Let me read one for you. It is scientifically proven that made that better than women in a multiple of ways. Show by multiple average success, most IQ, athleticism, emotion, intelligence, and other categories. While women have their own advantages, having high average IQ rather than men who are more general geniuses. Which combines far more than with the fact that a billion of people are on Earth. I can confirm that I am not sexist. Was it disagree that a girl could outperform a man in Pavlov? Men are generally far better than people good. Okay, then females. It's proven by the League of Legends men versus female game. But to my scientific experience, <laughs> then will, of course, be some woman with the ability to play professionally. Oh no, thank you, Apache, for sending me this picture. It was beautiful. I'm sorry, I didn't include that. But general people were very great with people such as Winterwolf, The Video Boy, MJ, Logan, Kirby, Chris. Shout out to Apache and others. You know if I like you or not. By the way, Pavlov Shack is coming our way. I think it was one of the last times I played Pavlov Shack. I literally played a synthesis map in Pavlov. It even had the music. I don't know how to feel about it. But I kind of thought Pavlov was toxic before I joined Breach's Special or someone. By the way, this is not really going to be its own big segment. This is just going to be a quick one. Just a short note so you know uh, what Breach's VR is. So here's what Breach's VR is basically like. It's basically Rainbow Six Siege, but VR. But no operators, only like three maps instead of how many Rainbow Six has. But it does have a very good casting setup for tournaments and so. And just like real VR, the Breach's development, I think, used 10k on sponsored tournaments. Which is very cool. And it gives some more people to play the game. So, W. VR chat. I'm not a frequent user of VR chat, so bear with me. By the way, look at me, mom. I'm a freaking cacker. Don't play it. Because this may look fun until you find sex trafficking, people files, crashers, sex characters. Oh no, you did not. Inflation out. I've seen some of our friends on Discord having been on VR chat for 10 hours straight and I know they're from EU and I just woke up so they didn't sleep, they didn't work, they didn't prepare for exams, they played VR chat. Anyway, salam alaikum. I hope you guys have a very good day and um, I wish the best for you.